I am a huge proponent for concealed carry. I've always been that way my whole life. The Nut and Fancy Project is an extension of that personal philosophy where I believe good civilians and of course off-duty law enforcement should always have a gun on their person. Primarily, in my opinion, to defend against an active shooter situation. That maybe you will be present when some nut job decides to cut loose on innocent people. And maybe you will decide to intervene. Job one is having a tool, a weapon to do so. And training. And good judgment. Those go hand in hand, by the way. To intervene. And so, as you see on my personal gear checks, which I show on camera, I carry with extremely high percentage. And no, not just for TMP. I've always done that. Ever since, uh, let's see, 1992? I was in North Dakota. Whenever North Dakota enacted their concealed carry program, I've carried continuously since then in every state I've lived in. I go out the door, you know, I put my wallet on, I put, you know, <laughs> my man pack on, my fanny pack, deal with it, all my knives, lights, all that stuff, and my gun. My gun always comes along for the ride. I hope you do the same. And by the way, concealed carry, carrying a pistol, or a weapon of any type is not for everybody. I've always said in my philosophy videos on this subject, you know, think it through. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to do it. I mean, it's pretty serious stuff. I mean, ultimately, you could be taking another human being's life with your gun. Are you ready for that? Again, good judgment, value system, that all kind of comes along. But backing up to the logistics of that decision is having a gun with you, and that's what I'm making this video about. And specifically, I'm going to focus on one brand. You saw the title, of course, Galco, which I love Galco. I can't say it. Galco holsters. Let me ask you this. What gun do you think I carry today in my TNP errands? Which, by the way, are ongoing. I'm always doing TNP errands. Down to gun stores, acquiring this, dropping off that, buying this, returning that. It's just nonstop. I'm always running errands. So what gun do you think I had on me? I know what a lot of you guys are saying. Uh, I think all time subs are probably saying Caltech PF9. Uh, no, I still like the PF9. I still carry it, PF9. Uh, guys who have been paying attention would probably be saying the Glock 43. And in fact, we might as well introduce shoulder systems now. This is a Galco Classic Light carrying, and I have reviewed the Classic Light separately years ago, but I'm gonna kind of refresh that review for 2016. Here's a Glock 43, and this has actually a grip material on it. And you would be incorrect. This was not the carry gun today. But although I do carry this system a lot. The Glock 43, and I actually have a plus two magazine system in this. And this is hot. You can see around in there. It's coming out of a carry system. I'm not going to unload it for the video. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I'm, you know, we're looking at, what, seven plus one in this system right now. Plus an offside magazine. We might as well talk about the classic light and why I've advocated it for so many years. Uh, first and foremost, and I do put a permanent marker on there. Let me know what the holster is what, because when you have multiple systems and multiple guns like my like I do, it helps. Uh, first and foremost, it's affordable. So if they do make a Galco classic light, and by the way, I'll put some links in the bottom for common carry systems if I find them. Look below in the description, you'll see them, maybe, <laughs> if I get around to it. Uh, it doesn't break the bank. That's the first thing I love about the Galco Classic Light. Another thing I love is that it's so comfortable. Uh, comfortable. Uh, it's super thin, it carries under the shirt, and that's how I carry it, in case you're wondering. A lot of people call it Superman carry, so if I need to access the gun quicker, there's two ways to do it. I always have my shirt untucked, I can go up under the shirt, not the fastest presentation, inside the waistband is faster, I've always said that, but I have the gun, and it's comfortable, and I can carry other stuff that, around the waist area to be super prepared. Super thin though, comfortable. It is made of suede, the Galco Classic Light, right? Offside, single, magazine, cool with buttons, and it's durable. I mean, I've sweated in a lot of these Galco Classic Lights uh, speaking of the PF9, here comes a heavily used uh, 
classic light. I've had this one in operation for, I'm untangling it. Here's a PF9. Good guess, by the way, but it wasn't a PF9. Uh, I've probably been using this one for, I don't know, eight years or so, nine years. You can see what it looks like. I've sweated it in summers, winters. You want to talk about a comfortable, comfortable carry system, a Caltech PF9 and a Galco Classic Light. Dang. <laughs> you get back home and you're just doing your stuff. You go, oh, I still got my pistol on. You forget you have it. I mean, a PF9 weighs, what, 12.7 ounces empty? This is a special coloration they made for a little while, Chrome Slide. I still like the PF9. I like the Glock 43 a little bit better these days. I do. I think it's a tougher, more reliable pistol overall. It's all day comfortable as well in a Galco Classic Light. It is. No, I haven't forgot about the question. I'll get back to it. I'll circle back. Uh, 43 though, it goes with me all the time as you see. Now, I have been running inside the waistband rigs even though I came out with that video of 10 reasons I hate IWB and I'll stick by those. But I still run it sometimes. I do because Really, there. If you want a fast presentation inside the waistband, a shoulder holster when it's under a shirt at least is not as fast. But the first rule of the gun flight fight applies, right? You have to have the tool with you, and if it's uncomfortable, if it's not working for you, you start leaving it behind. And there's lots and lots of gear videos that I've gear check videos I've come out with that prove that. Uh, so what gun did I have today? It wasn't a 43. It wasn't a PF9. It wasn't. The recently reviewed Keltec LCP2, I would not use that as a primary carry piece. It's a 380, a mouse gun. It'd be a backup piece for me. Wasn't a Glock 17, wasn't a PPQ. How about this? Let's just get right to it. A Glock 20. How's that? And I'm not making this up. In a Galco Jackass rig. Highly recommended. Also a favorite Galco carry system. This one's just going into service, so there's not a lot of wear on it yet. Now, a Galco Jackass rig is kind of a hybrid between the Galco Classic Light, which is a full suede rig, suede holster, suede offside magazine pouch, in that it has this ox blood leather. Very cool. With polymer tie offs right here. Still a very firm snap system to retain the gun. A sight channel right here. Uh, which you don't really get with a classic light. It's just suede. It's very simple, right? Simple. Uh, but then you get the, the strap system from the Galco Classic Light, which I think is beneficial. That means it's going to be super thin. It conceals pretty well. One thing you want, want to watch out for is it, is it drapes around your neck and you're, open, uh, you're wearing an open collar shirt. People can see these two front straps. And Mrs. Nothing Fancy has remarked, dude, your straps are showing. <laughs> It's it's like the husband talking to uh, you know his wife. Hey, your bra straps are showing. But instead, Mrs. Netflix is like, hey, your gun straps are showing. And sometimes I like, ah, I don't care, whatever. You know, I don't really freaking care. People can deal with it. And other times, you know, I'll button up the a button so they don't show. But I do carry shoulder holster system a lot. I ran this one all day long, and I'm talking like, dude, uh, a full size Glock 20 with two fully loaded magazines. By the way. Notice I always annotate my, my mag so I know, hey, is it a Glock 21 magazine? This hasn't been broken in yet, so it's a little bit stiff. Or 9mm 40, so I recommend you do that as well. So here you go. And what load do I have in there? Uh, I'll think of it. Uh, I forget. Right off. But I carried this all day, and it was so comfortable. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not going for hyperbole that I forgot. That I had a Glock 20 on me? How, how is that possible? I know, because it's a big gun, but it conceals so well. And the Galco Jackass rig, uh, which, by the way, has a very uh, storied past. You can go on Galco's site, and they used to have a uh, history on it, where it came from, how they developed it. Um, anyways, I won't go into that here. Uh, it it kind of carries diagonally, so it's not a horizontal carry. It's actually kind of a tip-up carry. So the dimension from the muzzle to the back part of the pistol is reduced. So you're not really carrying it like this, where a big gun like a Glock 20 would print. Granted, it's still thick. That That's a dimension. You're going to wear a loose shirt if you're going interior on it. Uh, but I, I wore it beneath this shirt I'm wearing right here, a North Face. So it's big, bulky. You see me wear it a lot. And... 
it worked great. It really did. And it's a beautiful holster. So if you're talking about pride of ownership, conceal, or uh, I'm sorry, second cool, if that's important to you, uh, the Galco is there. And I'm not saying Galco is the only brand. There are dozens and dozens of great brands of holsters, uh, high quality, but Galco kind of delivers the same quality. Very big name brand, great customer service if you ever have a problem. And they're doing it what I think is a very reasonable price. For instance, this Glock 20 rig, uh, what did it, I bought it on Amazon and I want to say like 135 or something like that. Uh, Glock 17 one's like a buck and a quarter. You know, that's not like massively cheap, but I think it's fair for American produced leather product. I think it's fair. Uh, you'll see rave reviews on it everywhere. So the Jackass rig is a top rig, especially if you're going with, like I did today, a full-size pistol for whatever reason. Maybe it's a G17, maybe it's a SIG, maybe it's a 1911, maybe it's a PPQ. And you want to just kind of cant it a little bit so, again, the length dimension is reduced a little bit. So that's the Jackass rig. Uh, I'm running G17s in that as well. Not in this holster because you need to buy one for your specific gun. Cool. Now here comes another one. And I think... I'm getting this right. This is a, uh, yeah, it is. It's a Miami Classic rig with a G19 in it. And I have ran this a lot. Now, this is, uh, it's kind of all tangled up here. I'll try to untangle it. This has been in use by me for about, uh, I don't really remember, a couple years, I think. And I do run G19s in it. And this is a pure horizontal oriented rig for this Galco. So it's not like the Jackass, which it will cant up. It's going to lay horizontal. But with a G19 and its very short overall presentation, it works. And and it's super light. The Glock 19 is so light. Even with, and I'll have one mag in here now, but even with two mags, this is, other than width, I mean, it's not exactly super thin, but other than width, it's, it's a rig you can kind of forget you have on. I've actually got back to the house with this rig on, the vaunted Miami Classic. Forgot I had it on. I'm like, oh, I still got the G19 on. Uh, and let me throw this in. It's kind of interesting. And Tactical Doodle talks about it on his channel a lot, and he's absolutely right. Um, and by the way, he has a new sticker on the web store. He doesn't want me to show this, but um, this is Tactical Doodle's sticker. <laughs> it says, just another dumbass civilian. He has a limited run of these on... Nothing fancy big cartel, so go there. And I'm sure they'll sell out just from this. It's so hilarious. And the reason he did this sticker is because he's not trying to pretend anything he's not. He's like, I'm just a civilian dude, man. I carry. And this gets back to what I was saying. He carries for second cool. I mean, he'll carry like, you know, a, an old Smith & Wesson 38 Special, a Walther PPK. Why? Because he realizes the, the chances of, of him ever needing that gun are slim to none. Um, but it just makes him happy. He likes it. The same can go for a lot of these systems is that, well, you're not expecting really to use it, but it just makes you smile. Maybe carrying a Glock 19 and a Miami Classic just makes you happy. That's a totally va valid reason to carry a gun. If by itself, it's why we carry knives in a large measure, isn't it? So sometimes you just throw the Glock 19 on and go, man, this is cool. And, and another thing I love about it is that it's just a sense of security. So you know, with this option, I'm not carrying a subcompact pistol. I mean, the Glock 19 is amazing. I mean, it hits, go watch my review. It hits out to, you know, 25 yards readily. Totally reliable, adequate firepower. I mean, if something were to kick off, you know, I could think of a lot worse guns to answer the situation with than a Glock 19. Same for a lot of these guns on the table. Well, maybe not the mouse gun. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great pistol, the LCP too, but I, I don't know if I want to... If I know something's kicking off, I'm not carrying a 380. I'll say that much. And then I got a couple other uh, Galco Classic lights. Here's a Glock 26 rig. I've shown this on camera multiple times. This has been in service for years. Again, you're going to have to buy these shoulder rigs. Generally for the, the pistol you're just intending it to be. Now this one can flex like I've written here for the 19 and the 26. And actually it can carry a 17 as well. So that's an advantage to the Glock series is that a lot of the holsters will fit a lot of different models of Glocks, at least within the same caliber. And that's a Galco Classic Light. Okay, and I do have actually an in pocket holster I'm going to show you, which I love. 
And I've used these. There's some others in systems I didn't pull out, but I'm going to show you one in package. So there's a Glock. Uh, it actually will work for a Glock 26. This is an inside the waistband Galco. And it is, I'm trying to look at the number, WB286, I think. There it is right here. Simple. And by the way, that will super lock on your pant belt. So be careful. It's it's hard to get it up. You can see it. It locks on. And no, Galco isn't the only one that does it. Is this my first choice for inside the waistband? Mm, I would say first, I do like the composite holsters, like the the you know the crossbreed types of holsters with the kydex and leather the nice thing about these is they're just so simple there's only one attachment clip you have to worry about you don't have to worry about two and when you want to reset it for or aft on your inside the waistband presentation these are easier to locate maybe you lose a little bit stab uh, stability because it is a single clip but this is a clip suede holster so it's super thin it har adds hardly any thickness to your carry system and for your pan, totally worth it. Totally worth it. And there's actually a bunch of Galco holsters I had. These are just a couple. And here's an inside the pocket one. And this is for a Keltec P3AT. But I bet you it's going to fit that Ruger LCP2. And this is Pro 436. That's a model number. If I find a link, I'll throw it in there. This is, I wouldn't say this is a primary carry method for this Galco holster. But it's a way to, well, that doesn't quite fit because the trigger guard's too big. Uh, let me grab that P3AT, which is still here for the review that I just did. This is my BOK container, by the way. So this is what I carry my pistol in and my bug out kit. So I've got two boxes of 90 grain Hydroshock. I mean, these date way back. <laughs> I've had these boxes of ammo for a long time. It's a good load. And then the P3AT is right in here. In that Uncle Mike size 10 holster, which is awesome, by the way. Another brand making an appearance, but we're gonna show you this right here. There you go, dude. That's a pocket holster. And it's suede, so it has traction. Uh, it will loosen a bit over time if you decide to store the gun in it. I recommend you don't. Like you can see, I had to kind of force it in there and it makes it tight. That's cool. Uh, and then it has a hook, so when you draw it from the pocket, It'll hook on the edge of the pocket and then you can deploy the, the handgun. Okay, there you go. Uh, like I said, I have a lot more than just these pistols and in, uh, I'm sorry, these holsters and in inventory, but these are the ones that came to mind. They're all highly recommended. The, the classic light, still a favorite. Uh, I think a lot of you guys do not use a shoulder holster. I get it. Uh, you should try it, especially in winter time when you're carrying a jacket. Uh, and it really depends on body style. I know like if you're a really skinny guy and you can't hide a shoulder holster like Tactical Doodle says he cannot because of his body style. <coughs> I get it. Uh, but my body style, I can do it all day long. Uh, I was actually carrying the Glock 20 and the Jackass rig right here. And Tactical Doodle uh, came and looked at me. I said, what do you think my carry? I asked the same question I asked you guys. I said, what do you think my carry gun is? And he went through the standard litany, you know, of what I was telling you guys, and he did not guess that I was carrying a full-size Glock 20. He couldn't tell. Well, again, I had a baggy shirt. Uh, super comfortable, and damn, there's nothing like 10 millimeter auto power in a very comfortable Galco rig. Nothing fancy. See you.